Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Melissa and I'm a registered nurse. So in today's video, we're going to go over how to study for one of the hardest, if not the hardest class in nursing school, and that is pharmacology. I recently finished nursing school, and of course I had to take and pass pharmacology. And then throughout my nursing program, even after I was done with the class, the medications and the concepts kept popping up in other classes. And then eventually I had to review pharmacology for my board exam and it was a big portion of the NCLEX. So after going through all of that, finally I realized there are certain methods and certain ways that you should approach studying for pharmacology that will guarantee that you're gonna pass the class and that will likely guarantee that you're gonna have a high grade in the class. So I'm gonna go ahead and put chapters down below so that if you wanna skip ahead to any portion of the video or skip over any portion of the video, it just makes it a little bit easier to do that. So the first thing that I'm going to go over is kind of how to approach studying for pharmacology. And one thing that is very important is repetition and memorization, unfortunately. If you are not good with memorization, I apologize. Most of nursing school is not memorization. I would say that most of nursing school and some of pharmacology is really understanding concepts. And while you do need to understand the concepts to a certain degree in pharmacology, a lot of it really is memorization. And in my opinion, the best way to memorize something is by repetition. So for me, I like flashcards. For you, that could be flashcards, that could be watching videos, that could be reviewing your notes. Just seeing certain medications over and over again, you're going to learn more about them and that is going to just make it easier to approach pharmacology. The good thing about pharmacology, which kind of moves on to point number two, and it took me a really long time to realize this, is that you luckily do not have to memorize specific drugs in pharmacology. Aside from a handful of drugs that you will need to memorize and you're gonna be seeing constantly, aside from those handful of drugs, for the most part, all that you really need to memorize are different drug classes. So for example, I'll take a drug class, ACE inhibitors. There are possibly hundreds of ACE inhibitors out on the market and new medications are being added to the market every year. So it is impossible to memorize every single medication that falls underneath the category of an ACE inhibitor. What you can do, however, is memorize that ACE inhibitors typically tend to end in PRIL, that P-R-I-L. So anytime that you're reading your textbook or you see an exam and you see a medication that you've never heard of before, if the ending of that medication ends in PRIL, there is a high chance that it is in the category of an ACE inhibitor. So as long as you remember everything that an ACE inhibitor does and that an ACE inhibitor is, if you're able to identify that medication as an ACE inhibitor, you automatically know everything that you need to know about that medication to pass your exam. Now another tip, when you are studying for pharmacology, there is a lot of information that will be thrown your way when you're studying different medications. At least for me in nursing school, we went over how that medication enters the body, the different routes that it takes, every single thing that it does into the body before it exits the body, how long it takes to exit the body. There's so much information that they give us on medications in nursing school and it can get very overwhelming. And so in my opinion, if you remember nothing else about a drug or a medication, just remember two things. Number one is the indication for that drug. And number two is the nursing consideration for a drug. So again, I'll use ACE inhibitors as an example in this case. You may not be able to describe exactly how ACE inhibitors work in the body or exactly what they do in the body, but what you will need to know for your exams and especially for the NCLEX are that ACE inhibitors are used to treat hypertension and CHF. So those are two indications for ACE inhibitors. And then the nursing considerations that you should have for ACE inhibitors are that you need to monitor the patient's blood pressure and that ACE inhibitors are contraindicated in pregnant patients. So you may not be able to explain why you shouldn't give this to a pregnant person, but you should know that it is a contraindication. And you should know, even if you don't know, 
why you should be monitoring blood pressure, which I personally think you should, but no judgment, you should at least know that that is something that you should be doing as the nurse. So again, even if you don't know everything, you don't have to study each and every drug class or each and every medication until you know everything about it, but you should know every drug class enough to know why the drug is being prescribed and what you should be looking out for once it is prescribed. Now this next tip is just my own personal thing. It depends on your learning style and it also depends on your professor and how they're teaching the class. But I have found that it is much easier for me anyway to learn about each drug if you go system by system or each medication class if you go system by system. So as you're learning about the cardiovascular system or the circulatory system, learn about all of the different drugs that affect that. As you're learning about the skeletal system, learn about all the different drugs that affect that and just kind of go in order by system. If that does not work for you or if that's just not your learning style, I would advise you to find some other systematic way of studying each drug class rather than just learning about different drugs here and there. When I took pharmacology, I personally felt like I learned about just kind of different drugs randomly and I think it would have been a lot more helpful if I went system by system. When I was studying for my board exam, that is actually what I did. I went system by system, learning about all of the different drugs or the common drugs and drug classes for each system. And I felt like I was able to retain a lot more information that way. And just for me, it made a lot more sense. So find a system that works for you to study each drug class in an organized way that makes sense for you. And then the very last tip that I have is when you are taking pathophysiology, pay very close attention as you're learning about different diseases to which medications treat those diseases. At least for me, I felt like when I was taking pathophysiology, we talked about different treatments for each disease and we briefly talked about the pharmacological treatments, so the medication treatments. We learned a lot about other nursing treatments and if I could go back in time, I would have spent a lot more time learning about the different drugs that treated each condition. In my opinion, learning them at the same time is the best way to learn. If you're fortunate enough to be taking pathophysiology and pharmacology at the same time, well, I don't know if I'd say fortunate because those are two very difficult classes, but if you are not taking them at the same time, I would advise if you have time, every single disease that you go over, make a note or be intentional about what medications are typically used to treat that disease. I found that that helped me so much when I was studying for the NCLEX, just being able to associate which drugs kind of match up with which disease or which drug class matches up with which disease. It will make pharmacology so much easier for you, I promise. So that is the end of this video and hopefully it gave you some new tips or some new ways to study for pharmacology. If you have any tips or any questions, please go ahead and comment down below. I would love to see some of your tips for how you are studying for pharmacology. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.